Him were coming along and bands like Free were taking over and rock was beginning to move. So the early albums had this, captured this Tyrannosaurus Rex phenomenon, but economically it wasn't going anywhere really. And Mark realised that if he was going to be a big rock star like, say, Roger Daltrey of The Who or somebody he might admire, you know, he realised that uh, he'd have to do something bigger and stronger. I was very fond of Mark. He was much more aware of being a pop star and wanting to be a pop star and wanting to be in the charts and uh, wanting that lifestyle. Steve wanted to keep it a hippie thing and Mark wanted to progress and to become a star. You will find that Steve Peregrine took was not with Mark Bolden after that period. Uh, and in fact, uh, that's where Mr Mickey Finn comes in. Mickey had been my long-term friend. Mickey had known since... Um, Mickey had been part of Granny Takes a Trip. Mickey Finn was an inordinately handsome, charming, lovely man who played the bongos all right. But Mickey, um, in the Tyrannosaurus Rex, when he first came in, um, was imitating something which Steve took invented. And that, of course, was because at the time, that's what Mark wanted. Having Mickey Finn there also meant that he wasn't complaining about the electric guitar because he was just happy to be there. And, um, and you know, Mark wanted to make the decisions that was framed by him, so he was along for the ride. And suddenly we've got a fourth album looming. They go into the studio, and when the engineers and producer come into the studio, they're greeted by not the usual... But... Electric guitars! It was a matter of getting off, being cross-legged on the stage, plugging in the guitar, shaking it up, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, you know. Ow. Mickey Finn was a rock and roller and he was very, a real basic guy, a cool guy, I really liked him. And uh, that was an, another missing element that Mark needed a, a little bit of more uh, grounding. He needed a bit more grounding which uh, uh, Mickey Finn provided for him. He knew Mickey Finn from somewhere before. They either worked together or he was on the scene around and he saw him as a very good looking kind of clothes horse figure that could um, do a little bit of back and look good. It was the look. And Mickey was the court jester who made Mark laugh, and made you know it was a feel-good factor. Yeah.